Hello everybody, my name is Ethan Harper and welcome back to Two Senses Media. So today I'm going to be starting a new show um, and it's called Our Project. Now the reason it's called Our Project is because I want to collaborate with you guys, not just me and Connor. I want to sort of really connect with you guys and talk about things together and learn from each other. So it makes it all a nice community in which we can all have a good time. So the show is about us learning how to make a film and hopefully teaching you guys some stuff about making films. Um, so we're going to run through making a film. I don't know what this film's going to be yet because this is literally just starting now. I have no idea what the film's going to be yet. But we're going to do it and you're going to learn and we're going to learn. It's all going to be a learning experience. So the first season of said show um, will be about the idea. Now, obviously, you can't make a film without an idea, obviously. So we're going to focus on that and how you can improve your ideas and how you can have them come to you a little bit quicker. Because sometimes thinking of an idea um, can be quite time consuming and quite frustrating. So hopefully we'll make it we'll make it easy for each other. So episode one, the idea. I didn't mean idea i meant nostalgia the series is called uh the idea but uh, the actual episode is called nostalgia i'm terribly sorry we can all move on with our lives just one of those things now as you can probably tell i'm currently in a blanket fort um which is i know a little childish but that's the reason I made this. One of the reasons why I made the blanket for is to show to you why nostalgia and things from your past can often be good for your imagination and coming up with ideas. What do I mean by nostalgia? As many of you will know, nostalgia is when you feel attached to something in the past and you almost relive it in your mind or something happens that reminds you of a time when you were younger. So nostalgia can be positive or negative, but we're going to focus on the positive nostalgia feeling. You know that really warm feeling you get when you remember something happening that was really good uh, when you were younger, when it was simpler times, and you just sort of think about it for a while, and you're generally a bit more positive for the rest of the day. So personally for me, one of the things I used to do when I was younger a lot was make blanket forts. Um, I used to do them all the time, um, anywhere. I'd use these exact frame things that we used to hang out clothes. Um, I'd use these exact cloths. I'd use everything like this and I'd do it in the living room mainly, but today I've done it in my bedroom because it's easier to film. Me and my sister would um, play games, we'd make up characters and do various things like that. So it was a really good way of imagining things and creating a visual experience as well as um, in your mind. Now, as I've grown up, obviously, I've lost a bit of my imagination because as a child, you sort of, you are a more imaginative person because you think of more outside the box and you're not as much of a perfectionist, so you don't think about whether it's a good idea or it's a bad idea. You just go with it no matter what. So today, I tried to tap into my inner child and build this. And the reason I built it is because I feel inspired by nostalgia. The reason why I built the blanket fort is um, nostalgia really brings out imagination in me as I associate this with making up stories and adventures like I said before. So it really puts that mindset into my head and allows me to think a bit more about fun, interesting ideas. And it also helps with writer's block as well because um, obviously writer's block is when you are too much of a perfectionist and you don't want to think of any ideas because you think all your ideas are rubbish. Obviously, this is personal for you. It doesn't have to be a blanket fort. It could be anything that you did when you were younger. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only way you can create ideas. There's obviously other ways, and I'm going to touch on those in other videos, but this is one that I thought was very current to me, and obviously because I'm currently in a blanket fort, but um, also I just felt nostalgic recently for some reason, so I wanted to talk about it and how it can inspire you and hopefully it does inspire you if it doesn't inspire you why doesn't it inspire you tell me in the comments tell me so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did then leave a like and if you're new around here and you want to see more of my videos and you want to be notified when these videos are going to come out hit subscribe and hit that little bell button because apparently you have to do that now to get notifications comment down below 
If you're excited for the series, if you're not excited for the series, comment. I'll reply in haste, like I said in my last video. I'll reply in haste. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for more ideas talk. Bye. Bye, I guess, yeah.